Having a puppy with diarrhea can be really messy. It can also be quite worrying because after all, they're only young and they don't have an awful lot of body reserves. And today I'm going to go through the causes of puppy diarrhea and also how you can treat it at home. <coughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from OurPetsHealth.com, helping you and your pet live a healthier, happier life. And it's important to distinguish between a puppy who has diarrhea but is otherwise well healthy, they're not vomiting, they're still growing and they're still playing, compared to a puppy who is sick. So they might be very quiet, they might be off their food, not drinking, they might be vomiting. and you know, those causes are going to be very different. Now, for a puppy who's otherwise well, there are three kind of main, most common causes of diarrhea. Now the first one is going to be that they've just eaten something that's disagreed with them. They've got a little bit of an upset tummy, a little bit of a bug that's just going through them. It's causing diarrhea but they're otherwise happy and healthy. And really a lot of the time what we can do here is just feed them a bland diet. So there are specific diets that are designed to feed or just boiled chicken, boiled rice, boiled pasta, scrambled egg, that kind of thing. So they're all things that are very easy for the intestines to digest and process, but will still provide some nutrition to your puppy. Now, you don't want to feed these kinds of food for any more than a few days because they're not going to be completely balanced and they're not going to be providing everything that your puppy needs for their normal growth. But for a short term basis, that's going to be absolutely fine just while their tummy settles down. Parasites is the next most common cause and that's worms effectively. So puppies are much more susceptible to worms. They develop a worm burden that causes problems much faster. Now you might notice that your puppy has a bit of a, a pot belly um, but is not painful and is otherwise bright and happy as before. Now that can be a sign of worms. So making sure that your puppy is wormed appropriately. We tend to say worming every two weeks until they're 12 weeks of age, every month until they're six months and then every three months after that. So if you've wormed your puppy appropriately it's unlikely to be the case. If they haven't had a wormer recently that's definitely something to think about. And then the third most most common cause of diarrhea in puppies is going to be a food intolerance. So they just don't agree with whatever diet it is that you're feeding them. And here what you can do is just work your way through a couple of different diets to find one that does work. It may take a few different efforts. You should try and transition um, a little bit slowly just to make sure that your puppy will accept that new food. If they're eating it fine you can just transition straight away because after all they've already got diarrhea and you should notice that their diarrhea clears up within a week or two. Now if your puppy's diarrhea isn't improving with that change of diet or with that worm treatment, but they're still bright and happy and they're still growing, then they could have another parasite or a different type of infection. So Giardia is something that can cause long-term diarrhea in puppies and in adult dogs. You'll often get a little bit of blood and a little bit of mucus, um, and that's something that's called colitis. Um, you can also get things like Salmonella and Campylobacter, and while a puppy will um, often be unwell if they've got those infections. Sometimes they won't. They'll just be carrying that. It will be causing a bit of diarrhea, but will not be causing them to become otherwise unwell. And then if your puppy isn't growing, if they're just a little bit thin, they're not getting bigger and gaining weight as you'd expect, there are a couple of other things that we need to think about. Things like uh, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, which, which is basically a reduction in the digestive enzymes that are produced by the pancreas that help digest and process fats especially. If they're not being produced, then your puppy's not going to be getting everything that they need from the diet. It's not going to be broken down so it can be absorbed. We can get vitamin deficiency, so B12 deficiency would be another one here which can develop just as a result of long-term diarrhea but very often at least in the early stages the puppy will still be well despite having these conditions. Now these last few causes of diarrhea in puppies are obviously going to be need to be diagnosed by your vet. If you're taking a stool sample to them to be tested then ideally what we would do is take one sample every day for three days and then send that off for analysis. And the reason for that is that some of the bugs, some of the problems that can cause diarrhea are only shed in the stool intermittently. So by giving a three day sample, we increase our chance of getting a diagnosis. And then some of the other things, so the pancreatic problem or the vitamin deficiency are going to need blood testing and maybe other diagnostics. Now clearly if your puppy is unwell and has diarrhea, then you're going to need to take them to the vet straight away to get the problem diagnosed and get the right treatment. In a really young puppy, especially if they're only um, a few months old and especially if they haven't had their vaccinations, we've always got to worry about um, diseases like parvovirus and distemper virus. So they are very common depending on where you are in the world. Parvovirus is certainly across the planet. Um, distemper is more common in certain areas than others uh, and that needs treatment 
really as an emergency. The sooner the treatment gets started, the higher the chance of your puppy surviving. But there are other things that can cause diarrhea. We can get organ problems. We could also just simply have a really bad parasite um, burden. And I've certainly seen it myself where we get something called an intersusception. If there's a lots of worms in the gut, then what happens is the gut contracts and it kind of telescopes into each other and that causes an obstruction. It may be that they've eaten something that's getting stuck as well. So if your puppy is sick and they have diarrhea, if they're vomiting as well, if they're quiet, if they're not eating, if they're not drinking, then you definitely need to take your puppy to the vet. Now if your puppy does have blood in its stool, then I've got a video all about colitis in dogs on the screen and I've also got another video all about vaccinations for puppies which you definitely need to think about. But until next time, I'm Dr Alex, this is Our Pets Health, because they're family.